Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify this uh, radical um, expression here, which is uh, fifth root of 32 times y to the fifth. Now, remember, when we're dealing with square roots, basically what the square root represents is, you know, what number multiplied by itself. So when we're looking at the fifth root, we're saying what number multiplied by itself five times is going to give us 32 and then y squared. Now, there's a couple ways that we can do this. We could obviously write down the prime factorization and then count um, you know, if we can get five of the same number for 32. Um, also, other way we can, you know, look at this and say, what number can I raise to the fifth power? And let me explain. So if I was going to take, let's talk about square roots, because I think more people are familiar with square roots. If I was looking at the square root of four, we know that answer is two. We can also represent that as the square root of two times two, grouping the twos, right? That's the factor of your prime numbers. However, the other way to write that is square root two times two is just two squared. So the square root of two squared just equals 2. So is there a number that I can write as the fifth power? That I can rewrite as the fifth power. And yes, that number is going to be 2. And let's just double check our math. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. Um, basically knowing that the fifth root of 32 is a very common one that you're just going to want to make sure you know of. We could also prime factorize 32. And if you keep on breaking it down into the factors, you would see that it is just 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 if you were to follow the prime factorization. Now, let's look at y to the 15th. Now, again, what I'm going to do for this is, again, we're looking into um, writing. We, we know that just like the square root of 2 squared gives us 2, well, the fifth root of 2 to the fifth power is just going to leave us with 2. So I want to write y to the 15th as y to the fifth power. Now remember, how, so how many times can we write y to the fifth power? Well, y to the fifth times y to the fifth. If you multiply those, you add the exponent. That becomes y to the 10th times y to the fifth. Fifth one more time is going to be y to the 15th. Now I can take the fifth root of 2 to the fifth. I could take the fifth root of y to the fifth. And therefore, I am able to liberate my fifth root, and I just have 2 times y times y times y, which is 2y cubed. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify the fifth root of a radical expression. Thanks.